Mm. Yeah, it stopped at DD because of the during that time we stopped the system, right? Maybe again we can uh, we can restart it. See here how again I'm restarting. So we have to go to the truck symbol again, import Q, click on the OK symbol, then again it will pass where it got stopped it will pass from that one. See here, it is getting imported now. So it is getting imported. So like this, we have to import the, so it is getting imported here. So here, while importing here, so we have the some steps actually. We have the some steps. So we are getting the some steps here. So when you see here, here, the spam status, spam steps, these are the status, where it is. Currently, it is in the DDIC underscore import phase here. So what is the component and what is the current status to import? It is importing the, the request and everything. It is getting imported, right? <coughs> it, is, it is doing now. So normally, normally when you go to SC16, so here are total, so total 30 steps are there here in the SAP. Total 30 steps. So total 30 steps are there in the SAP. When you go to here, you see total 30, 30 steps, 30 steps in the so SAP system here, 30 steps. So that uh, so which step is very important, which steps are important, then you will get to know here. Right? So that I will explain it in that one there is a 19th step so import underscore proper right 19th step import underscore proper so that step is very 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 important the step import underscore proper so if that step is crossed so we cannot roll back the our changes we cannot roll back the changes so before you doing you need to carefully plan all our activities and everything here before you start farming, so you need to carefully plan our activities. The first, what we have to do, we need to download the patch from the service marketplace using the service marketplace yes, user ID. We need to download. Once you download it, we need to import the patches to. You need to load the patches. Either you can load from the front end, or so we can load from the application server level. So when you are loading from application server the patches we have to extract it. You have to manually do that one. Otherwise, when you have doing from the front end, so we, we have we can load it. Maybe there is a limitation. It's a 400 MB below 400 MB or 300 MB. There is some value, certain value. If it is the above, we have to do it from the application server level. If it's the below, we can do it from the front end also. We can import it. So once import is done, you have to go to the display defined queue. You need to define the queue. It means which patch you are going to update, that respective component you need to select it. Then after that, click on the truck symbol, then import will start it. Click on the truck symbol, then import will start it. So this is the way we have to import the status. So it will show the current status here. Here it will show the what are the new patches are imported. So here, so this is SAP underscore UI. And also if you see all imported support, all support packages, all the support patches will be showed here. All the patches will be loaded here. All the patches will be loaded here. See here, how, how many components are there? What are the getting imported in the system? So all the all the patches are there. Yesterday we updated the spam and saint. Same as like here, 58 to 85, when you updated. So all the information is recorded here. All the information is recorded in the systems. Okay, so this is the way we need to update it here. Suppose Saint, what is meant by Saint here? Saint is the Yadar installation tool, which means, so if you have, if you want to uh, install the new components, suppose like you want to install the new component, then you can go for the Saint. Saint is the Yadar installation tool. There you can update it. There you can update the so latest things. You can update it here. Whatever the component you want to install it, just to go to the same, load the packages, then click on the start button, select the new component. We have to do it from here. So currently we cannot do that one. Why? Because currently, so currently it's locked by the DDIC, which means currently one patch is running in the so system. So we have to wait until completion of that patch. We have to wait until completion of that patch. Then we need to 
start it. We need to start it. This is the way we have to do that work. <coughs> okay. So this is the way we have to do the so changes in the systems here. Okay. So this is the notes, sorry, add-ons apply in the SAP systems. Right. So suppose let's take let's take one more system, maybe our quality. Maybe it's starting now. Production. Yeah, quality editor yesterday. Oh, super. So here, suppose if you take it, then how to do this upgrades and all everything here in the systems. So how to do this one? So currently, so it's fine. Through add-on installation, you are doing one by one. You are doing that is fine, right? So, but what about the Suppose I want to update all, I want to minimize the downtime and I want to update on proper way, all the dependencies and everything. In this case, so the spam, it won't help here. So we have to go with the sum tool only. We have to go with the, the sum tool. Sum tool, we have to go with the sum tool. Sum tool, with sum tool, we have to do the all our upgrades and everything. We have to perform it using the sum tool here, right? So what we required here to start with the sum tool here, right? To start with the sum tool, so we need to generate the, first of all, we need to register our system into service marketplace. If not, then we need to manually add into the service marketplace and uh, there we have to generate the stack.xml file. We have to generate it. So this is the steps we have to follow in our systems. We have to follow this in our systems, so, okay? So this is the steps we have to follow. Right. So here service marketplace here. Service marketplace. Why? Because normally if you are doing from here, normally when you are doing from here, it is not required here. Right? Why? Because here just to download the patch, load into the spam transaction code, you can update it here. Right? You can update it here. But when you are doing from, when you are doing from, so Saint, I mean you are doing from the some other uh, some some tool, some tool is the SAP certified tool, which means so any patch, single patch or multiple patch, bulk patches, hundreds of patches, anything you can do with the some tool, some tool in the proper manner we can do with one. Some tool is the software upgrade manager. So how we are doing the installations using the so SWPM tool, same way after installation, you want to upgrade it, we can use the this one, we can use the this tool, we can use it here, right? So this is the way we have to so do that one. So here, how to how to do that one? How to do that one? So first of all, to perform this one, to perform to do the to perform this activities from the service marketplace, we need to generate the stack.xml file we have to generate from the systems. Stack.xml file we have to generate from the systems here. Right? So how to generate the stack.xml file here? Well, what is the procedure to follow the to do the sum tool okay so sap upgrade upgrade using sum tool now so normally as of now we performed using the spam and saying that is the old method now sum tool how to perform the sum tool so here the first of all before you performing so align with the align with the the target patch level at a time everything should go to the target patch level which patch level you want to upgrade it right align with the target patch level right you have to align with the target patch level which patch level you are going to import it in the systems so that patch level you have to align with the target patch levels then so check the check the check the your system system should be in the system should be system system should be in service marketplace or service marketplace or should be sync sync with the sync with the current patch levels sync with the current patch levels so that is the very important here so system should be in the service marketplace or sync with the current patch levels so this is the way so we need to check it out then so generate 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 the so generate the stack dot stack dot xml file for some upgrade some upgrade your upgrade for you have to generate the from service marketplace you have to generate it it's a very important step this is the very 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 important step why because the key 
for some tool will work only based upon the XML file only. So we have to generate the stack.xml file for the some upgrade. So from service marketplace, we have to upgrade it. Then, so download the all the patches, download the all the patches from service, download the all the patches and move to the move to app server level, application server level. We have to move it here. So here, so generate the stack.xml file from the Amazon marketplace means here, here we can split into the part A and B right 3a and 3b so which means 3a so if the if the system exists if the system if the system exists there is a separate procedure directly we can go ahead and calculate the so stack that example when the system is exist then so go to go to maintenance planner so explore systems i will show you go to the maintenance planner explore systems then select your system select your system then calculate the calculate the the target patch level download the download the xml okay so this is the one point in case 3b in case if the if the system does not exist if the system does not exist and you don't have solution manager also if you do don't have solve man system also why well, because the data will go to the so service marketplace via solution manager so if you don't have solution manager then manually manually download the uh, system info xml file from saint transaction code it's very important right so that go to service marketplace go to service marketplace so add the system add the system then add the system then you can generate the add the system and you can generate the xml file add the system and you can generate the xml file so this is the way we have to perform it if the system is exist one is one procedure if the system does not exist we have to follow the one more procedure we have to follow it right they add the system add the system then calculate the then add the system then calculate the so this one calculate the calculate the xml file so these are the steps we have to follow this is for the just preparation activities okay it's all are the preparation activities it's called the pre steps okay we will call it as the pre upgrade steps pre upgrade so pre upgrade steps okay pre upgrade pre upgrade steps here okay the upgrade steps here so first we have to check the target system patch levels then system should be in the service marketplace and everything so generate the xml file if the system exists then one procedure if the system does not exist what you will do these two are the common type of interview questions in the 3a 3b right so that we have to do it from here so now so what we will do here in our case what we will do what is our action item now so if we go to the system now see our system is exist or not definitely our system is not exist in our service market place here then what to do now right so first of all first of all check in the systems first of all check in the systems so you have quality so quality also ready right i think uh, go to the quality then we'll do the quality upgrade while well, development upgrade is in progress we'll do the quality changes here so what happened The XML file download is the some tricky. Anyone tried in the production? Update in the spam and saint? Production. Let me check in the production. Why? Oh, because for the spam, spam update is mandatory. So nothing is updated. So updating here. 
the spam is very mandatory here so spam is not updated then here so then we won't get option to generate the xml file here to generate the xml file in the service marketplace okay so even though we can discuss with the other systems how to generate it here i think it's getting down it's getting started A tricky part actually so it's not very easy to understand all these things okay so just i'm going to triple zero client okay go to the spam <coughs> so here also spam updated so here also it got stuck in the epa log phase only it got stuck in the epa log phase so here what is updating okay still the spam is not yet updated still so let's see it will complete the remaining activities so here what exactly you are going to do here so yeah i think it's updated now spam always status should be the green status here see here it should be green status it is updated now so you updated spam right Yes, yes, Ravi. This time you updated, not all others. Yes, I think only STPA of you update, someone updated, and the spam is updated. So only okay to some spam. So you updated these things. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So here, what we have to do here. So what we have to do here. Go to the Saint transaction code. Go to the Saint transaction code here. So then, so so suppose if your system is exist one processor. We don't have any solution manager. Then in this case, we need to generate the sysinfo.xml file. We have to generate it. Sysinfo.xml file. We have to generate it and go to the maintenance planner. We need to generate the stack.xml file. That is the very first step, right? Or is it the very, very, very first step for calculating the stack.xml file? That is the very, very first step here. So I'm going to the service marketplace here. You can see. So here service marketplace i will go to the service marketplace then i will down so go to the so here access so here you can see access sap dot me that is the access sap dot me we have to go for that one got it so anyone any, any confusion here anyone from is it can you understand you can understand right what we are doing don't know so nothing for calculation of the patches so we are we are generating the for calculation of the patches we are generating the xml file why because so one way patching to some to spam and same transaction codes we have done it but one more way the proper way nowadays everyone is following is using the sum tool using the sum tool procedure so here how to perform using the sum tool here how to perform using the sum tool here so if you see here how to perform means using this uh, here we need to generate the here we need to then generate the stack.xml file so go to the systems provisioning here they have changed all these things they have changed right here you can go to the here so maintenance planner so launch application maintenance planner we have to go to the maintenance planner here then we need to generate it here right this is the way we have to follow <coughs> so here you see uh, here uh, i have to pass the recording here because 